This video is about making plots that maintain the units of the projection that we're working with uh, using spatial data in ggplot. And we're going to start where we left off uh, at the beginning of the last lesson, having loaded all of our relevant packages and loaded in the Harvard soils data and the full site Harvard digital terrain model. Now, we've talked about how different types of spatial data can have different projections, which have different units. But you may have noticed that something a little funny happens with those units when we're making graphs of vector data using ggplot. So let's look at the coordinate reference system for these two data sets that we've already loaded. Remember, we do that using st underscore crs to look up the coordinate reference system. And so we'll look that up for Harvard Soils. And uh, we can see that the EPSG code is 32618. And remember, that's uh, for uh, the UTM coordinates uh, using zone 18 north. If we then look up the coordinate reference system using STCRS for the, digi the digital terrain model, uh, we'll see that same EPSG code uh, and that same description up here. So both data sets are in UTM zone 18 north. And if we plot the raster data on our own, we'll see that it maintains those UTM units. So let's do ggplot plus its raster data, so geom stars, and our data is equal to harv dtm. And if we look down here, uh, we'll see that we have these large uh, numbers that we were used to seeing for uh, this UTM data. So that all works properly. Now let's add the soils data. And so over the top, we'll add geom sf for vector data. Data is equal to harv underscore soils. And we'll set alpha equals to zero so that we can see uh, the raster underneath our vector data. But now, all of a sudden, our big UTM easting and northing numbers are gone, and they've been replaced with uh, latitudes here on the Y. And if I zoom in, uh, we can see that it's longitudes uh, down here on the X. So what happened? This happens because by default, Geom SF changes the units to latitude and longitude values. And that can be fine sometimes. Often it's the most intuitive way to look at data because we all know what lats and longs are. Generally, UTMs can be less intuitive to understand, but how do we put it back in the original units if that's what we actually need? To do that, we can add a step to our ggplot object using the coord underscore sf function. And this will control the units that are output for these coordinates. And this takes uh, the key argument is datum here equals, and then we need to give it the coordinate reference system that we want to work with. And we can either use a number, so we could type 32618 in here, that's one option, or we could look up the coordinate reference system that we wanted to use. And so in this case, we could say, let's use st underscore crs to get the actual coordinate reference system for the Harvard soils data and use the coordinate reference system that is the right one for our data. 
And now if we run this, we'll see that we're back to where we were before uh, with the units in the UTM zone uh, values that we're used to. So that's how you get ggplot objects that use vector data on simple features objects to have the coordinate system, the units for the coordinate reference system that those data themselves hold. Uh, we add a coord underscore sf function call uh, to our pipeline specifying the coordinate reference system in the datum 